Good morning, welcome to Nocatee. Jeff with Earthworks here. We are at a client's house that uh, had a little issue with their existing patio and we are here in the process of repairing that and adding a few little planters to it. So why don't you join us in the back and see where we're at right now. This is Mike Oaks with Earthworks. We are on a patio pad in the backyard. We're gonna redo the existing pad. So we're gonna leave a good portion of it down. We just had a lot of failure out here. So they had an existing wall block and an attempt at a footer. So with a footer, it's called a footer because it needs to be a foot deep, not a foot wide. It could be anything, but as long as it's a foot deep, that's usually why it's called a footer. And in this case, they only had two inches of crush, or, uh, concrete underneath the crush. And then the wall block was sitting right on top of that. So it literally just, it didn't do anything besides fail. So we had a lot of settling out here. The patio that you see Jeff and Antonio right now picking up, this is all gonna drop down. So we'll have a 12 foot planter bed on the far right hand side. Then we'll do a four foot by three foot step. And that will be a double step coming down off the existing pavers or the patio up top. And then over here, the same thing, we'll have one step down and all this, instead of being so high right now and having such a great pitch, we're gonna make this a little bit more level, add a step in so it's not pitched like the backyard because in this backyard we're super steep um, so we're just kind of making sure everything's level here so when you're sitting here you don't have your drinks spilling over you're not falling over there's a lot of failure out here like I said so we had an existing seating wall that was not tied into the pavers and then we also had columns that weren't tied into the seating wall which was not tied into the pavers so everything just kind of was moving and had giant gaps everywhere the columns just weren't doing weren't doing it for these people so they gave us a call had us come on out here, so that's what we're going to do. Within this next week, we should have all this pretty much regraded. The planter beds in, the steps in, and look like we were never even here. Got the paver guys out here with us today. We got a lot going on, so we have a lot of wall block. So, unfortunately, we had to do everything by hand in this backyard. Very tight access, very little access because of how tight the houses are. We're out here in Nocatee, just so you know. We have the three courses of wall block up top here to kind of help with our settling issues that we had up top. So now this is nice and secure. Uh, everything's been liquid nailed and concreted underneath. So this wall is not going anywhere. It also has wall liners with a little black stuff is in here just to help everything stay inside the wall instead of flowing through. Where I'm standing right now, technically I'll be in a nice giant planter box. And then over there where the paper guys are, that's also a nice big old planter box. The reasons why we're doing this is first off, elevation changes in this yard are crazy. So up here, we're like 10 feet from the bottom of their yard to the top of their yard. So what we're trying to do is just kind of give them a terrace effect. So up here would be our first level where John's standing, you can't see him, but that's a nice level area. That's 16 feet, so they have a new patio, so it's 16 foot two. Nice big patio up top. And then we have a step down. So where I'm standing now, we'll have two landing pads. So our first landing pad would be six inches down from that. Six inches, because that's a comfortable step for us humans. You know, it's just kind of so you're not going to be tripping. That's going to come out and then we'll do a four and a half step. Same thing coming all the way down. And that's going to tie into where you see down here. These wall blockers are going to come up and be four high. So all the wall block that's out here is going to recess all the stuff that's inside up top. So these will be your brand new planter beds. Everything down here behind me will be brand new sod. That's going to be Seville sod which is a shade tolerant sod. The foliage back here is pretty heavy. So there's a reason why we're going with the Seville sod back here. All the dirt that you see, we'll be touching all that up with pine straw. So the, these people have some dogs. So we just kind of make this kind of dog friendly back here. They're kind of tired of the dogs jumping off of the pad that was up here because before this was just chaos. And so the dogs would jump off and it was just unsafe for everybody. So what we're doing is now, like I said, we're gonna make stepping areas so the dogs will be able to walk down these steps instead of jumping down and having big tripping issues and be able to at least enjoy the back half of the yard and now the homeowners can enjoy the front half of the yard. We will have landscape and stuff in here because we have at least the rest of this week just get the pavers installed and get the rest of the, the wall block installed and next time you see me you should see a nice finished product. And now it's complete. So we have no more settling. We have a wall liner behind the wall. We have the terrace, like I said. Every now and then we run into a couple of little hiccups. Just some of the hiccups that I ran into on this job was height elevation. So I was just trying to make sure everything looked proper, like as if it was already here before we got here. We had the existing fire pit area. Instead of having the giant columns poking out and it's taking away 
space for the fire pit, we kind of just did away with them and did our normal seating wall. That gave them plenty enough room to have their seats in and then still have comfortable room to get around the fire pit. That was just a minor tweak that we noticed while we were in the field to take care of. And doing that, we had enough wall block that we can actually have this area over here underneath the magnolia that had a good little wash out of the dirt. So because we didn't do the columns, we we're actually able to extend the wall out and kind of re uh, retain the dirt that's on this backside so nothing gets on the pavers. And that was me working with the, the homeowner. And I think this turned out fantastic over here. We also added another giant two foot step at the bottom. So normally we would only have these two steps because like I said, the elevations back here, we added another step on the bottom just so it's comfortable with you walking. And then we pressure washed everything. So that's the reason why everything is matching now. So these were existing pavers. These are the brand new pavers. So we just kind of pressure washed everything. Hopefully everything blended in. And now everything looks wonderful. I want to thank Jeff. I want to thank Antonio. All Star, of course, the homeowners. Reach out to us and we'll come make your backyard a paradise. So we brought in Earthworks to help rebuild our old cobblestone patio the last owner had put in that was falling apart. And Jeff, Mike, and his team came in, had great ideas, really did more than we expected, made it look better than we thought. They made a lot of improvements that we certainly wouldn't have thought of. And uh, they got it done super quick, a couple days ahead of schedule even. So thanks to them for everything. So you heard it from the client. Call Mike, Mike can do it. In all reality, and all kidding aside, we're here at the final job and Watson approves. He's got his two new litter boxes and he's happy as all could be. The clients are super happy. I'll be reaching out to the client later this week with an estimate for polymeric sand and sealer for the pavers. We're gonna do the entire patio, so it'll give it a, a wet look and not this chalky look that we currently have. Uh, and also with the polymeric sand, it'll help prevent some weeds coming through and any insects that may wanna crawl through as well. We've got a couple punch items left, just some minor things, some pine straw behind us here and, and a couple of loose pavers uh, in the step. But other than that, the client is happy. I am super happy. The job turned out amazing and it solved their problems that they, they had prior. And the dogs love it too. They get to have a little runway right out the middle to the grass and go out and have their little fun. So if you're interested in pavers or anything with your landscape, give us a call or check us out at earthworksjacks.com.